I just wanted to say before we start today's video that processing animals is a very sensitive topic for people. It's very difficult to take the life of an animal and it's not something that we take lightly. We take it seriously and we do it with responsibility. We raise our animals well, in good conditions, with great organic feed and plenty of water and grass and sunshine. And I just want everyone to know that the worst day that these animals have is their last day. And that the reality is, is that we do eat meat and that every time we eat meat, it does come from an animal. And I want to feel the weight of that responsibility of raising the animal and knowing where it came from and how it died and how it lived. And so that's what you're going to see today is the culmination of the raising of that animal. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Row and Co Farms. Today is processing day for our chickens in the chicken tractor. Uh, just to catch everybody up, if you're not familiar, we have um, been raising 140 meat chickens at our friend's property. So us, along with two other families, are sharing the load, basically, of raising these 140 meat chicks. Uh, we have three chicken tractors with all of the uh, of the birds inside. And basically, there's about uh, 45 birds or so per tra chicken tractor. Um, and so we're going to be processing those guys today. They are Freedom Rangers. They're uh, just a little over 11 weeks old this week. They're really big. I think we actually could have processed them maybe a week ago, maybe a little sooner. Um, they are definitely ready. They're big. I'm excited to see like what their actual weight is when we get finished. You can hear them crowing back there. <laughs> There's a lot of roosters um, in the bunch. They definitely have matured over the last couple weeks and they're starting to kind of fight and stuff in there. So it's definitely time to get these guys processed and get them out of those um, chicken tractors. So what we have been doing basically is moving those chicken tractors every day with the uh, chickens inside there so they get a new patch of grass every day. Um, they also have feed and water inside. Um, you can check some of the previous videos to see what the setup looked like in there. Um, so I'm gonna take you over now and show you the area where we're gonna be processing. Um, I'm really excited this time because we have some, some legit nice processing equipment. Um, we all went in together again with these other two families to buy this equipment and so I think that's going to be a great investment for all of us. So we're going to we're going to continue to do this group raising, I think, of animals and we're going to take turns at each other's homesteads. Um, now there were some things that we did not like about the process this time and I am going to talk about that later on and let you know exactly what we liked and didn't like so that way you know in the future maybe you don't want to do those things or maybe you do. So um, let's go over and take a look at our setup for processing. So this is our processing area. These are our kill cones. Basically the chicken goes inside here, upside down with his head out the bottom. This keeps the chickens calm. And then you use a knife and kind of slit their throat and they kind of bleed out into this bucket at the bottom. They'll stay in here until all the blood's out. This keeps them from flapping around and doing the whole chicken with their head cut off thing. You don't want that. You want them to just be in here. It keeps them calmer. Um, so they start here. Then they move over here. This is the scalder. This is gonna really help us out a lot. Um, so basically this heats to about 160 degrees, the water, and you put the chickens inside here and you dip them into the scalding water. You just rotate, this whole thing rotates and it dips it into the scalding water uh, for just, you know, 30 seconds or something like that and helps loosen up the feathers. After they're in here, they're gonna move on to the plucking station. So we have a chicken plucker. These are little like rubber fingers. This helps remove the feathers 
and this whole thing spins and then you spray it with water while it's in there and this will help remove all the feathers. Uh, they drop out down at the bottom. So this is gonna be the best, best help for us right now uh, is helping with getting the feathers off. So this will get the feathers off in probably about a minute or so, supposed to be, so we'll see. Uh, next spot is just, just a table for cutting, gutting, all that kind of stuff. Um, again, another table for that. We also have a stainless steel table and a sink. Um, so we will be kind of setting up with about seven of us, six or seven of us out here. Everybody will have a station and we will all work those different stations. Um, all of the equipment that we got, I'll post it down below, but it came from a company called Featherman and they sell all the items that you see out here. So I will let you know how we like that, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're gonna love it. So um, as we go through, I will show you some of the things that we're doing out here today with the butchering. I, I'm not gonna show the actual killing. YouTube does not like that. And I need my channel to be, <laughs> to be viewed and um, not be shut down by YouTube. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, um, we're gonna start getting chickens and bringing them over and you can see. I did wanna let you guys know that our friends that we are doing this processing with, they all requested that they did not want to be on video. Uh, so I'm not showing their faces. You will see me recording kind of from the neck down or they'll be, um, they'll have a hat in front of their face or something like that. So I've done my best to, uh, you know, protect everyone's privacy if they did not want to be on video. Let's walk through the steps of gutting and processing the chicken. So it's been through the plucker and now we're going to be removing the legs. There's a small joint um, that you find and you just make an easy cut there and it easily comes off. You're never going to cut through bone. You're only going to cut through. Just watch here. This is a small, easy cut. It'll just split right open leg will come right off. Next, we're going to be removing the head. Again, we're not cutting through bone. We're going to find a spot in between the vertebrae to cut through. Or you can use these trimmers. So the head gets removed. Next, we make a small incision so that we can loosen up the esophagus, the trachea, and the crop that when we go to gut them, we can pull everything out through the bottom side. Show us what you're doing there, Cameron. Just loosen it up right here. So you make a little hole there, loosen it up, and then you're going to find down here, going to make a small incision.
correct them. Just want to be careful with that. And then we cut that little piece off the tail. We make a small incision so that we can tuck the legs in. Look up. Yeah. I can show your face. of having a husband who does air condition work is that we have a mini split blowing cold air into our fan to keep us a little bit cooler out here today. It's really hot. So that's redneck ingenuity right there. We got some really bad storms uh, right towards the end of the day. So we had to stop uh, some of our processes uh, but we were able to come back together the next day to finish everything up, and it worked out really well. Don't make any funny faces. So here you'll see us placing the birds into these shrink wrap bags that are then placed into like a scalding water that will shrink the bag around the bird. Then they're twist it up and then tie it off at the top. I went to the doctor today. Eh? Saw the gym. I thought about going in and signing up. So here's where they're dipped into that hot water, twist it off, and on goes the zip tie. So overall, each family got 41 chickens that ranged in weight from 275 to 295 total pounds of meat. That's a lot of meat for each family. We packaged up some whole chickens and then we did a lot of individual servings to make it easier to pull stuff out of the freezer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you next time here at Rowan Co. Farms.